multiple spheres of overcoming. In this world there will always be challenges in life, we are after all imperfect people living in a fallen world. We all have sinned, and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 since none of us are perfect our lives cannot be perfect, things happen. When things happen even though they may be unintentional we end up with consequences to deal with. It has been my observation over the years that our internal infrastructure which allows us to overcome the challenges of this world can be separated into four categories. I call these the four spheres of overcoming. They are not distinct and quite often overlap. They are physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. I often use grief as an example of how these spheres work because, grief is such a profound challenge that it often involves all four spheres. 1. Physical. Our bodies have their limits, even though we can train to expand and extend those limits. There will always be boundaries to what our physical bodies will allow us to do. Adrenaline among other chemicals within our design can also expand our physical abilities beyond their normal state for a short period of time. The after effects of such temporary physical changes also often bear watching. 2. Mental This sphere is defined by both the physical structure of the brain and by our accumulated knowledge. Studies have even shown that as we accumulate knowledge, the structure of the brain changes over time. Certain mental illnesses can also alter the physical structure of the brain. Depression in many cases can even be seen on medical imaging. So it's not just all in your head. The mental sphere can have great effect of the physical, world-class athletes, and soldiers both talk of mental toughness. They literally train themselves to use their minds to expand their physical abilities. People of faith have been known to use their faith in much the same way. I remember years ago. I was a volunteer at the US Gymnastic Championships, I got to see some of the world's best athletes up close. Even now I am in awe of their mental focus. The way they can control their thoughts, and use their thoughts to control their bodies is beyond amazing. 3. Emotional, anger, sadness, and other emotions are most often normal reactions to abnormal external stimuli. Some emotions, anger for instance will even affect the physical sphere. Anger can cause an increase in heart rate and adrenaline levels as part of a fight or flight response. Of course we have to exercise caution when our emotions rise to the point that our body launches a physical response. 4. Spiritual Particularly as Christians we take great comfort from our faith. Obviously as a minister I spend the most time working within this sphere. Consider what is said in John 16.33, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows. But take heart, because I have overcome the world. These four spheres are my attempt to outline the internal resources we have when we face challenges, and how our body uses them. Obviously there are other factors that can come into play, the reaction of others for instance. Hopefully what it said here has given you a start. I invite you to consult your pastor, doctor, or other advisor to continue your journey to facing life's challenges in a more productive way. An internationally known Christian writer and minister, Reverend Robert A. Crutchfield is founder of FaithInspires.org. FaithInspires.org is a Christian news and information blog read in 195 countries. Crutchfield and his work have been seen in Google News, Bing News, 
Christie on Headlines.com, Success with Tony D etc.